Hey, this is Phil, and wow, look at that picture of me. I am going to be showing you in this tutorial how to create an image like this, to take a headshot, a portrait of a person, and remove them from the background and make the background black and white. This is from a question from one of my students and followers, Jeremy. So thank you so much, Jeremy, for the question. So let's do this from the beginning. I'm just going to exit out of here, not save. And then I'm going to go back to my finder and I'm just going to open up this image in Photoshop. So you can do this in different programs, but I'm going to be showing you how to do this in Photoshop. So here we have our photo opened and I'm using this one of myself so I can make fun of my ridiculous beard there. And what we basically have to do is separate the foreground subject from the background or at least create a duplicate layer of our foreground subject so that the background layer we can make black and white. So we have to select our subject. There's different ways to select objects in Photoshop, but I'm going to use the quick selection tool right here. With the quick selection tool, I can just click on my face and drag and Photoshop will try to make a selection based off of where I'm clicking. With my shirt here, with my plaid shirt, it's a little bit difficult because what Photoshop is actually doing is making a selection based off of similar colors and similar exposures and edges where I am clicking. And sometimes it goes a little bit too far, like over here down in the right. So I'm going to actually press Option on my keyboard, Alt if you're on a PC, I'm on a Mac, and then click. And that's going to actually subtract this selection. When I unclick or unpress option, I get back to my plus select and I can continue to go over my hair, over my ears. Now this spot right here got selected. I'm going to press option and click to get rid of that little spot right there. And this is looking pretty good, but we can make it better. When you have your whole selection, make sure everything within is selected because sometimes, you know, something doesn't get selected like my a piece of my beard or my eye or something like that. But when you're happy with your basic selection, click this select and mask button right here. On older versions of Photoshop, it's a, it's called something different, but with the latest version of CC, it's called select and mask. With edge detection right here, we can increase the radius and Photoshop will try to intelligently choose the edge if if we didn't get a perfect edge ourselves. So I usually bump that up to six or seven pixels. You can also just click smart radius and it will automatically do it for us up to around 10 pixels for this photo. I can smooth the edge and that will try to smooth out the edge so it's not as jaggedy, which might fix the edge in some areas a little bit more. I can also feather the edge and because we're actually leaving our photo on the same background, we're just making the background black and white, having a bit of feathering actually will do well for this photo. Contrast, I'm just going to leave at zero. You can increase the contrast, but what I think, what happens with contrast, it kind of reverses the feather and it makes it a little bit too smooth for me sometimes. It depends on what I'm doing. If I just wanna make this a, take this photo and put it on a white backdrop or something else, I might do the contrast. You can also shift the edge in or out, but I'm going to leave it as so and just click OK. Now I have the selection selected, but what do I do with it? I'm going to copy and paste it. I'm pressing on a Mac, Command C, Command V. On a PC, it would be Control C, Control V. And you see that I have this new layer here in my layer panel. If I turn off the background layer like this, you can see that is just the selection we made. But if I turn off the front layer, nothing happens because it's just duplicated on top of the background layer. We didn't get rid of the background. We just may, had this selection on top. So what I'll do is actually click on the background, then go down here to this adjustment button right here. It's the little circle that has the line in the middle. And then click hue saturation. That creates this hue saturation adjustment layer. And if I drop down the saturation number that pops up, see what happens? It makes everything below this adjustment layer black and white. If I turn back on this selection we made up here, bam, look at that. We have the color portrait of our selection and beneath this, we have a black and white image. 
If I move this layer beneath the hue and saturation adjustment, you can see that it becomes black and white. So we're gonna leave that on top. And that's how you actually relatively easily create a portrait like this with a black and white background and a color foreground. If you have any questions, please post a comment below. I'll be sure to answer it as soon as possible. And if you have any other ideas for tutorials, let me know. I'll also link to the full Photoshop course for entrepreneurs that I have uh, that will take you this even a step further if you want to learn Photoshop or other things. And you can always check out all my other courses and tutorials on my website, videoschoolonline.com. Thanks so much, and we'll see you in another tutorial.